What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. It's going to be kind of a casual vlog style video. I wanted to make a coffee first. I'm going to light a candle and then I'm going to go through all of my shoes in the closet. We have a, live in a very, very small space. I have a very, very limited space when it comes to shoes. I can't really organize that much. I'm just going to end up stacking them, but I want to organize it a little bit. So I'll go through the shoes, also show you some new fall shoes that I got. And this is going to be basically a shoe situation. So coffee first. I don't know if you guys saw those anthropology icon glasses. Somebody posted on TikTok that the store at home has kind of like similar ones. This is huge. Like for my liking, this is a little bit too big. It almost looks like a little vase, but I still got it because I thought it was really cute. I went furniture shopping with my sister. She was picking out some furniture for her new house and we had some time to kill. So I decided to stop by the store at home. They have so many cute fall things now. I posted some stuff to my TikTok. But if you love the icon glasses from Anthropology, like that whole vibe, it's probably as close as you'll get. So $7.99 at the store at home, but I personally like to use these cuties right here for some ice drinks. So let's go grab some ice. We got a new fridge and our RV is a disaster right now because my husband hasn't installed it yet. It has to go in there. He's gonna do it tomorrow when he gets back from work. And they also forgot to send us the panels. Yay, so it's gonna be a few more weeks. We waited two months for this fridge. It comes in and we're like, uh, where are the panels? They forgot to send it, order it. So now we gotta wait another who knows how long for the panels, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. At least we got the fridge, right? But I love this little ice section. I just buy ice from Dollar General. I would love to have nugget ice, but it's okay. This is the next best thing. I'm gonna do a little pumpkin pie. I get my syrups off of Amazon. This is my second year buying this pumpkin pie syrup. These are also from Amazon. I think they're so cute. Just a dash of vanilla. Give it a good mix and sip, sip, and enjoy. I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. We have a little update. Look at his cutie patootie. He does not like being held whatsoever. Look at this cuteness. He cannot stand being held for the life of him. I couldn't pay him enough money. I couldn't give him enough food. But he's the cutest thing ever, isn't he? His name is Smokey. The kids decided on that name. He has like a white belly with some tiger stripes. And he's so cute. He's actually a half sibling of Chai. So Chai, our cat that we have, the black one, her mom had another litter from a different dad cat. We have another addition to our family and he's the cutest little guy ever. At first him and Chai were not having it. She would sometimes hiss, which she never, never does. So we try to slowly introduce them, keep them in separate rooms, all of that. Now today I found them sleeping in a box together. They're definitely gonna be BFFs for sure. Benny Hu, I'm gonna be tackling all of this today. I have shoved a lot of my shoes in there. So this half is mine, that half is my husband's. I have boots in the back, all that stuff. So I'm trying to take out my summer shoes and I'm gonna put the summer shoes in the back. And then I'm gonna bring the fall shoes towards the front. At the same time, I wanna show you guys some new shoes that I got. Some shoes that I'm gonna be wearing this fall are these right here. These are from the brand Bear Paw. They're kinda of like the UGG ones, but they were half the price essentially. I'm not sure if they're still available, but I love these. These, unlike other ones that you can get on Amazon, these are actually real fur and suede, I believe not any faux material because i know amazon does sell like knockoffs and stuff but they're faux for faux everything and these are basically like uggs essentially come here smoky so i'm definitely going to be wearing these all fall once again this is like my second or third year i got them two years ago because i got them when we were traveling in kentucky yeah that was two years ago on theme of bear paw I have these, these are kind of like Birkenstocks, but they have a fur lining. And I wish I got the ones that weren't fur lined. These are cozy, but the fur, like the fact that it's exposed, it looks so ratty and just not cute. And I really can't do much about it. Like this with like a chunky sweater, a scarf, some leggings, whatever. It's a really cute, comfortable shoe to have. So these I got probably two years ago as well. I can't remember. These I for sure got two or three years ago. These are the new balances, but this is the kids version. I don't know if these are available, but the adult ones were really expensive. So as some Alex, I don't know if anybody follows her, she posted one time that she got the kids ones and I bought them as soon as she posted about them. And these I wear probably the most. I don't know if you guys can tell. These I wear a lot. So these are definitely a, these are all year round, not just fall shoe staple. A recent pair of fall shoes that I got are these right here, these gorgeous burgundy. I've been loving burgundy, leopard, 
neutral tones, suede. I got this suede claw clip that I got a year ago from Walmart and it's coming in very handy. I love fall fashion. Fall fashion is my favorite, but I saw these at H&M and I picked them up right away because I've been looking for a burgundy sneaker for the fall. And I think these are really, really nice. I kind of rotate my sneakers, but these are already worn a few times and I love them. I also picked up these right here. I haven't worn them yet, but they are gorgeous. These are a deep, deep, deep wine red. And I like that these have a red insole, unlike other ones that I've seen that were kind of like this color. These just look a lot more elevated and I think they're absolutely stunning. They're super comfortable. I got an eight and a half. I'm usually an eight with pointed toes. I like to go up half a size and they have a small little kitten heel. And I was really impressed with them. I haven't worn them yet, but I tried them on and I kind of wore them around the house and I think they're just a stunning, beautiful, gorgeous shoe and I cannot wait to wear them during the fall time to church, all of that. And then another new pair that I got are these boots right here. I don't have a boot like this. I have some other boots like the suede ones that are flat and then I have some heeled ones like these right here from Vici which I really love but I don't have ones that I can wear like with a chunky heel. Like these I feel like I can wear out and about. These I would feel kind of weird going to Walmart with because it's heeled. This I feel like because it's a chunky heel even though it's high it's a lot more comfortable. They're not real leather but the price reflects the fact that they are full leather. They're also like this gorgeous deep wine red color and they are a wide calf which I like, it's kind of exactly what I was looking for, and kind of like a square toe. So those I got on Amazon. These are also actually from Amazon. And then the last shoe that I got that is new, well, you guys already heard me talk about these. They sold out. I've been loving burgundy, can you tell? But these sold out on Amazon. You can find them from other sellers. Sometimes it comes in and out of stock. But I picked up another pair of ballet flats. I have some black ones from H&M. These guys right here, I wear these so much. They are very, very, very well loved and they're not even real leather. But I saw these and I was like, oh my goodness, can you tell I love? Cheetah's always gonna be a style. It's not even a trend. Cheetah, suede, dark colors, all of that. It kind of like comes and goes, but it's always gonna be, it's always gonna be in style. So I picked these up because I thought they were so cute and they have like this really soft material and they fit, they are actually very, very comfortable. The only pair that I bought from H&M that is cute but not comfortable is this one right here. These loafers, they are so cute and I really love them. I actually share them in a video, but in that video I have never worn them. They were brand new and I was just kind of like styling different outfits, but I wore these ones to the equestrian center and my feet right here hurt so bad. I had to put like toilet paper, napkins, anything I can find because it was rubbing into my the back of my heel so bad. They were, they're just so stiff and it's like no matter I don't know I try to wear it multiple times to stretch it out but like the, this back part is just so stiff I'm still gonna wear them because I'm determined to kind of break them in because they are really really cute loafer but these were very uncomfortable I'm gonna bring you guys closer because I have to go through all of these shoes let me put my hair up out of the way first things first I'm just gonna take all the shoes out these are like my cycling hiking shoes they're new balances that I got when we were traveling. We were doing a lot of walking and hiking and stuff. I also have some Hoka's. I haven't worn them a lot. I just haven't gone walking, if I'm being honest. Where's the other one? Here it is. I just haven't gone walking. I'm kind of scared to go walking by myself. But I hear really great things about Hoka's. And I think these are a fun spring shoe. just haven't worn them a lot. I also have these. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I get it. But I do like it. I do like it. I'm just going to... Keep it in the back here. What else do I have? I have my Converse's. These are classic. These I'm definitely not going to wear. These are like a spring shoe. These are Steve Madden. No, Madden Girl. I also have these Pumas. These are actually men's. These are like a classic sneaker. These I'm definitely going to wear. These are my Bear Paw. So I have three pairs of Bear Paws. These are kind of like the Ugg Shorties. Again, half the price, but they're still real suede and all that and fur lining. Very, very cute. These I'm gonna wear for sure. These I got off of Amazon, I wanna say two or three years ago, and I'm definitely gonna wear them. It's just that they're kind of hard to style because of the fur. Like at one point, I really loved the fur, but now I'm kind of on the fence about it. And the gold buckle here, it's definitely kind of tacky. Like this gold compared to the H&M ones. The H&M ones look a lot more elevated. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. These are the other boots. I haven't worn these in a hot minute either, but does anybody remember like these Stuart Weitzman inspired boots? What is this? Like a feather for my shirt. So these were kind of like the only other boots that I could wear out and about. And then I have these sock boots that I got from Shein a few years ago. I kept them because I think they're fun. They're like this knit sock material. 
with this silver chunky heel. I haven't worn them in a good year or two. I also have these sock boots. I got them from Shein in 2019. These I love. I've worn these to church. I've worn these like going out, stuff like that. I absolutely love these. These are one of my favorite, they've held up so well. For being Shein, I think I got them for like $30, probably less. They're such a nice boot. Hello, friends. Look at these two nosy pants. Can I help you? What is this? Oh, these are my gorgeous blush rhinestone shoes. I got these off of Amazon. I just keep them in here. These I'm definitely pulling out because snake skin, cheetah. I actually got these from a misguided. I got them in size 9. And they still feel a little bit tight right here. That's so interesting. But these are so fun. I love these and they're still in really good condition i've worn them a ton of different times i just haven't worn them since we've been traveling because i haven't had the opportunity but i'm definitely gonna wear these in the fall and winter last boots are these i'm not gonna pull them out i like to keep them on the side these are kind of like doc martens they are from Shein. i also got them like 2019 and they have a white thread instead of the yellow one but very similar to the doc martin ones and they've held up so i've worn these so many different times and again she in oh last boot these are so beautiful. I'll insert a photo of me wearing them. We went on an anniversary trip with my husband to Rhinebeck and we actually met Paul Rudd at his candy store. It was like the coolest experience ever. But I wore these. I got them off of Amazon. I just haven't really had an opportunity to wear them again. They kind of remind me of Stuart Weitzman ones. I do wish they were a little bit tighter around here. I have a few pair of church shoes as well. I have these that I love to wear during like the holidays. I got them from Amazon. Again, not the best quality. They're a nice stiletto to have for any holiday dress. I have these guys from Shein. I thought they were really cute. I got them to wear for a birthday outing and I ended up never going anywhere, but I did wear them to church and stuff. These I'm probably not gonna wear in the fall and winter time, so I'm probably gonna pack these in the back. I'm gonna pack these in the back because these are, I still could get a few wears out of them because it's still summer technically, but I'm just gonna tuck them towards the back as I organize. These are from Shein as well. I'm gonna get a lot of shoes from Shein at H&M and Amazon. That's where all my shoes are from. These are from H&M. I've worn them to weddings. I've worn them, I mean, so many, so many, so many times. These are also from H&M. I love these. They're not the most comfortable, but I've kind of broken them in and I've gotten used to it. This kind of like slip off sometimes, slips off sometimes. I love the square back. I think it's so unique. It's like a cute little kitten heel. And then the last church shoe that I have are these guys right here. These are so beautiful. They're very similar to this pink pair that I have, but in silver. These I got from Shein. I had ones from Steve Madden, but I got them in a size 9. And they were too big, so I gave them to my sister. So then I saw these on Shein. And I decided to pick them up. I wore them all summer. These I got from Amazon. They're very similar to the Steve Madden ones. But I saw these. They were a little bit cheaper. So I got these. These I've worn so many times this year. So many times. And I feel like they will, they will always they will always be a good sandal to have. These I got this year from Shein. I thought they were really cute. The only thing is they're not like the best quality. But it's like this rattan type fabric. And they're very cute. For being Shein, I think they're really cute. I've seen videos where people will be like, I don't know if it was on TikTok or wherever. And they'll be like, oh, you know, this is really cute, but it's from H&M, let's say, for example. So it'll be good for a season. And I'm like, what do you mean a season? Like, I keep this stuff for, like, a good five years at least. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, the last summer sandal that I have is these guys. These became very popular all over TikTok. I bought them. I didn't even have a TikTok. I just saw them. I don't remember where I saw them. But these are very much so inspired by a more popular brand if you will but well, they're from Steve Madden and they're very clunky and chunky and I feel like I need to learn how to style them better I do like them they do get dirty fast and they're wide they're a little bit too wide for my liking but they're still fine you can make them a little bit tighter if you wanted to but I'd say they're not good for a narrow foot and sometimes they make this weird farting sound <laughs> I took them to Myrtle Beach when I went on a trip with my sister and like I randomly when my foot would be sweaty and I'd be walking it just like makes this farting sound I'm like it's not me it's my shoe so yeah there's that but otherwise they're cute I'm all done I kind of did exactly what I wanted to the rest I'm gonna put in like a clear container and put it into storage maybe at my sister's house my summer dresses and stuff what I plan to do because obviously we don't have a lot of space here I saw these vacuum seal bags I have some for all my clothes under here I have like six of them. I got them off Amazon and they are the best things ever. I put our pillows in there that we're not using. Like 
different kind of pillow covers I interchange with for the different seasons. I put my summer clothes, my husband's summer clothes, because obviously we don't have room to display all of our clothes. And they've just been such a space saver. But I saw ones that are big enough for like this size or dresses and stuff. So I think I'm gonna buy large ones and then smush all of my summer dresses together. That way I have more room. If you guys are interested in any of the shoes, I will link them down below. Thank you guys for hanging out with me in this casual vlog and I really hope to see you guys in any future videos.